Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this makeup look right here. I used all drugstore makeup to come up with this look and you guys, look at that highlight. I mean, isn't that the most beautiful thing you've seen in your entire life? Isn't it? So if you guys want to see what I have on my face and how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the base today because I'm not doing really heavy eyes. Also, you guys, there's construction going on right outside the house. So if you hear really annoying screw driving, that is what it is. And I'm very, very sorry. I'll try to edit it out if it's really bad, but that's the situation we're dealing with today. Um, so for primer, I'm going to use my favorite drugstore primer. This is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer, Light Reflecting Primer. It's kind of similar to like the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. You know, just the primers that give you a really nice glow. For foundation, I'm going to use my one of my top favorites. That is the Maybelline Dream Ooh! Dream Cushion Foundation. I am in the shade 30. This is literally one of my favorite drugstore foundations. This and um, the L'Oreal Pro Glow. This is just, it's so nice. It feels so lightweight on the skin, but you can give it a medium, like get it to be a medium to full coverage if you build it up. I like putting on like a really sheer thin layer just to even up my skin tone and it just looks so beautiful and natural on the skin. So I'm trying out a new concealer today. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. Um, I've heard a lot about this. Mixed reviews, a lot of people really love it and a lot of people really hate it. I haven't really found like an in the middle. Here's this brush trip. Blech brush tip applicator and I use that Ooh, that might have been way 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 too much it looks like this color is going to be a little bit dark I might have to lighten it up with a different one yeah that looks really orange I think it'd be nice to um, cover the blueness under my eyes but I definitely think I'm going to have to go in with something else to brighten the area so that concealer actually looks really good. It doesn't look cakey or anything. It's not sticking to my dry patches, which I'm loving. But I'm going to go get a lighter one to uh, brighten the face a little bit. So to brighten and highlight my face a bit, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector. Games are just getting longer and longer by the minute. So I'm going to use that a little bit under the eyes. I'm taking that in my highlight area. So on the forehead, down the nose, and then a little bit on my chin. I'm going to blend that out, of course, with my beloved Beauty Blender. So I'm also going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. And I'm going to take that right here. I'm going to give you guys a little tip for blending out um, liquid concealer like this. What you can do is once you make the line, that's a lot harder to blend out a thin line. So take like a foundation brush or any brush really and like you can see it's already drying but use the foundation brush to kind of spread it a little bit more like that and then go in with your um, beauty blender and blend it out that's just going to be a lot easier to blend and give you a more seamless blend instead of trying to blend a thin line that's actually a really pretty color to contour with do you guys notice how at the end of every sentence my voice pitches up? Almost like I'm going through puberty or something. 
and you can see I'm doing it in sections rather than putting it all over my face first. This is because if you take time with your blending like I do, the product is going to dry onto the skin and it's going to be a lot harder to blend. So I'm also taking that down my no nose and I'm also going to use the side of the beauty blender now and I'm just going to tap that in. Okay, so now that I have all my liquids and creams down, I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder, take it with my beauty blender, and we're going to apply that under the eyes. I also like taking it on the sides of the nose, especially if I've contoured my nose. Also going to take that under the contour to really, really sharpen it up. Okay, so for eyeshadow today, we're going to be working off the Maybelline Burgundy Bar Palette. It's just a really beautiful purple toned palette. I'm going to go into this guy right here first, which is this really nice taupey color. I'm going to dip that, dip that, I'm going to put that into the crease area. This is definitely a color you're going to have to build up. doesn't have too much pigment. Okay, so next I'm going to take a thinner crease brush. And I'm going to go into this dark color, this dark chocolatey brown. And I'm just going to kind of pat that into the outer corner here. And then blend it in small circular motions. You also slowly, slowly blend that into the crease when there's not a, left, a lot of color left on your brush. Okay, next I think I'm going to go in with this purpley color. I'm going to try it with my finger first. I'm just going to take that and tap it onto the lid. So I'm just going back into that crease color and I'm just blending out where the color meets the crease so that there's no harsh line. So this is totally optional, you don't have to do it, but I'm just taking a really small detailer brush and I'm going to go into that dark shade just to give the look a little bit more depth. So all I'm going to do with that is run it kind of diagonal like you would do a wing. So I took a black eyeliner and lined my uh, lash line and my, what's it called? What's it called? Waterline and tight line. That was sad. That was sad. Now I'm going to take a thin pencil brush. I'm just going to go into the dark brown actually. I was thinking of having like a colorful lash line, but I quickly changed mind after that. I'm just going to take that and go below. Um, then I'm going to go into that light color, the transition color. I'm just going to soften that up a little. For mascara today, I'm going to first curl Z lashes. And then I'm going to use my favorite mascara right now. This is the All May One Coat Mega Volume Mascara. This is literally the best drugstore mascara I have ever tried. I really should not be talking while I have this weapon near my face, but I live life on the edge. So apply a generous coat of your favorite mascara. So going back into the palette, I'm gonna go gonna. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. I'm also gonna take this guy right here and I'm gonna apply that to the brow bone. For bronzer today, I'm gonna go into this e.l.f. duo. Really, really, oh, <laughs> I put my nail in it. But yeah, this is just a really beautiful 
bronzer and blush duo. I'm going to go into the bronzer. This is just going to help further enhance and warm up the face. Also going to take that around the forehead area. This is like a really nice color to bronze and contour. It's a really pretty color. So for blush, I want to use this one, but that looks really, really pink. So I'm going to mix it with um, Milani Coralina just to get like a really pretty peachy pink shimmery blush. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I'm just going to slightly blush up the cheeks. I'm really excited about this next product. I've heard great things about the Maybelline Master Studio, no, Master Contour Metallic Highlighter. Why are names so complicated right now? Just such a beautiful color. So excited to try this. I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia brush. I'm going to Highlight the cheek. Holy crap. That is pigmented. You guys, look at that. That is like more pigmented than a lot of my high-end highlighters. That is so pretty. And now I am going to bathe myself in it. So for lips, I'm going to use this Maybelline. Nope. L'Oreal Infallible Paint in the color 326. Okay, so not gonna lie, the lipstick is pretty damn patchy. I just think because dark colors like this in formulas such as these are very difficult to do. But other than that, the color is beautiful. And yeah, you guys, here is the finished look using all drugstore products. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe so I could see all of you guys in the next one. Please lipstick, do not be on my teeth.